I thought that I would review the Akiba Ranger set. Now, this is the 10th anniversary and comes with gears and keys. Now, we're going to be putting it into the Memorial Mobirates as well as the Gatlinger, the Memorial one that is. So let's look at the packaging. First of all, we have Akiba Red right here. There we have blue, red, uh, or blue, red, and yellow. Lovely pictures of the keys as well as the gears. On this side here, we have all the gears. And on that side, we have keys. At the top, it just says Akiba Ranger 10th Anniversary set and that's it and then at the bottom it has it in rainbow which is pretty cool is it just literally it's, it's at all the colors so yeah let's have a look inside now you do get instructions right here that actually say you can put this in the uh, the gear linger as well i don't know if it says it's the memorial one. Oh no it's the dx one that you can put it in and then it says that you can put it in the mobile as well now if you had the original one uh, you weren't able to kind of put it in because the keys were a little bit too thick and it was a bit of a pain. I never got that set. I really wanted it, but eh, money. But this one is a kind of makeup set. So as soon as I saw it, I had to have it. As you can see right here, we have all the gears and this is basically the normal and the super ones. Then we obviously have the keys again. Again, super or not. It's kind of weird because red is normal. Like why isn't there another red? I have no idea, but we have both yellows and both blues and they look really cool all together. So let's have a look at the gears up close. This is red for the very first one. Sorry about the light, but it looks pretty cool. And on the back is the Akiba logo. Now it has got a sticker, which I'm leaving on because you know, people like stickers, but it has a really nice shine on the actual logo and again, there is red. So I think, I don't know if this is the first one, like the ones that have their powers. So if you know, let me know in the comments. This is blue, which again is a really nice kind of effect. And on the back, it's fine. Now, these are kind of stickers. I really wish they were etched because it would make more sense And there is yellow. Like all the rest I'm guessing aren't stickers. That's kind of like they're etched into it. So I don't know if it's like these are unofficial. So, you know, they're kind of making up, but they all have the same thing on the back. So this is kind of weird. So I just had a look and I don't know why, but they've decided to make that one like the actual proper one. That is actually etched into it, like properly, like, you know, how it should be, where this one is a sticker. So I don't know why they haven't done it. Like why make one, like why make, this one the one that's like properly official just doesn't make sense to me so this one is uh which one so this is red again so the only difference we can see is the actual like symbol on the back is exactly the same this one is yellow which you can see and again the symbol has changed and on the back is exactly the same as normal and that one is blue as we can see different symbol and then again. So let's actually put these into the Memorial Gatlinger. This is the Zenkai Black uh, Memorial Edition. This isn't actually the DX or the first Gatlinger that was in the Memorial line. So let's give this a go and put these in. That's actually really cool. I'm glad that they put this all in. Again, it would be weird if they didn't, but let's try again. So flipping over this one. Bang, bang. 
absolutely love that one. Let's try again. So, let's change the other one to another one. So this one we're popping in is blue. One more go. Hero! Super Zenkai time! Die Zenkai! Absolutely the same. Turning the disc over, or the gear. And then we put in yellow. So I'm guessing it's gonna stay exactly the same, but just in case we're completely like, oh my God, it's not. Let's try. Now we flip it over, and once again. Bang, bang. Go, 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 go. So exactly the same. Let's try the second ones. So we're gonna put in red. Like, I would love it if it said something different. This is the first time hearing it because I've not actually got a Gatling yet, but let's go. Exactly the same. Okay, so flipping it over, trying one more time. Exactly the same. Now we're going to try blue. And then flipping it over. Bang, bang. Go, 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 go. Keep on and then we try yellow.
and flipping the over one last time. It's going to say the same thing, isn't it? So exact, exactly the same on all of them, which I would like it if they did it a little bit differently, but obviously it's not going to go um, Akiba, red, blue, or yellow. So we're going to now try the keys. The keys are very easy. They look really, really nice. It's a really weird thing that you didn't get a second red where you got two of the others. But as we can see in the light, it looks really cool. And again, you can move the arms. And this is very, very much like the uh, new keys that they've done where you can flip it and it would show you the key part as well as the sticker on the back it has another sticker which i'm going to keep on but that is pretty much it this is the first season of blue and now i was looking at the because there's loads of differences between the, the key or at least one and i was wondering what it is because yellow is very easy to tell but on the back here blue has a set like kind of it's separate which is okay um if you've seen it they get all get power-ups but we can see here that the key has the same parts. It has this, the same kind of decal as the others. Arms move up and down if you wanted to kind of have it in your collection. And again, it has a flip motif just like that, which there shows this key part here. Yellow is exactly the same here. You can move the arms up and down like so. I just think it's like, yeah, we've, we've done it. And you can see the key right there. You have the same sort of plating as all the others, and then you can flip it up like so, which reveals the actual logo for the key, and then you can see the gray part. Now, this is season two, which we can see right here, and the main difference is just literally the white kind of material at the end. And again, you can do this if you want. But yay for the keys. Now, there is like a little bit of gold on the key, which is a little bit different, um, and then you can use that to reveal the logo as well as the key. Blue, the, as I said, the only main difference is that she has a proper ponytail, which I think is pretty nice to be fair. And again, same detail as the others. Flip the key, absolutely fine. And there we go. So let's put it into the Mobirates and see what sounds we get. We have our Mobirates Mo Mo and we have our key and we'll flip it in. I'm not gonna do the whole transformation because I'd just be like, I can't do it. So the key goes in. Try again. So there's not much for that one. Let's try blue. And we try yellow. Now let's try season two. Maybe it'll be a bit different. I'm guessing it's going to be the exact same one. And then let's try blue.
exactly the same, which is kind of disappointing because I generally thought that they may add a few things in. So not unless I'm completely like not figuring out the codes or anything like that. And then we have the Don Blaster to kind of check it out to see if the gears work in it. Let's pop it in. It's really weird doing that. So let's spin it. Try one more time. So it's pretty cool. I'm not going to put all of them in, but I would like to know if there's a little bit different. So that's pretty much it. I'm guessing every single one's gonna do it. Um, I thought, yeah, let's try it with a Don Blaster, which I really, really like. But yeah, that is pretty much it for that one. And there we go, there is my review of the 10th anniversary set for the Akiba Rangers. I wholeheartedly think it's really, really cool. It's definitely worth uh, getting if you're a key as well as a gear collector. So yeah, definitely worth it. I loved it. It's actually, I think, it wasn't that expensive, which was absolutely fantastic at the time. But yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Do you want one? Do you not? Let me know down below in the comments. Which one was your favorite one? Do you think that they should have released another red key? Because definitely would have been a thing to include. I don't know why they didn't. But hey, I have no idea what Bandai does in Japan with that one. Anyway, I am going to leave it there. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you like this sort of content and you want to hear and see more, hit like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Check out the channel memberships as well as the Patreon. And I am going to leave it there. Thank you again for being here. I really appreciate you watching. And until next time, I will catch you in the next video. I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. And I wanted to shout out Kimono Cat, Kira Sonata, Micah Baldwin. Your help goes a long way to help support the channel, and if you want to help support the channel, the links to my Patreon and channel memberships are listed below in the description. あらあら。チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。